All right, we're gonna review the Shaman's Dream um, Oracle. And um, I absolutely, this is probably one of my favorite, it has become a favorite um, deck for me, especially in my one-on-ones. Um, it does come with a book, okay? which have beautiful meanings. And these are always on point. I, I can't tell you, there has not been a time that I have shuffled and pulled these that they have not been on point. So just, you know, letting you know that. I know that has to do with my team also, but I just think it's beautifully written, okay? Um, I do like the back artistry. I'm not a big fan of the, the artistry because I'm, I'm into stuff that's not too busy sometimes. So this one gets a little bit busy on um, the back of it. So even though it's still cool, especially the middle part, um, this section right here, I, I'm always drawn to this part of it, but then it kind of gets too busy too much um, for me personally. Um, but they're not going to be in any order because of course I've already shuffled these and, and I've had these uh, probably about a year I think I got these last year. Um, I can't remember, but I think I got these last year. I think I got them in 2021. But again, I love the artistry. I do love um, just some of these. It's just really beautifully drawn and put together. And even like the different colors um, that, you know, that they put these together. Because you have to put, there's multiple colors in each one of these photos. There's multiple shades. There's multiple, you know... Um, things going on here. So it looks very majestic. It looks very magical. That's the word I was looking for. Very magical um, and very colorful. And I am someone who loves colors. Okay. So um, I will tell you that I don't think, like I said, uh, there hasn't been uh, not a time that I have pulled these and um, they have not been on point to whatever was going on. They always are very beautifully. So if you're looking for some Oracle cards and you've been kind of like, oh, which ones do I buy? Um, this is definitely one that, um, again, I definitely am happy <laughs> that it is in. And it's become one of my ones that I use. I don't think there is a one-on-one -on -one session that I don't use these in. Okay. Um, I think this is one of my favorite ones though. One of my favorite ones just looking at how beautiful he is in this angelic form. Freaking beautiful, okay? Very cool ideas just being in, and it's dreams. So if you think of dreams, dreams get very crazy, right? Dreams get very crazy. Dreams are very all over the place, but it's such, dreams also are, in, are very beautiful. They can be anyway. That's the one they have on the on the um, front of the. That one's cool. I don't know if I would have chose that one for <laughs> the main one, but hey, you know, to each his own. <laughs> but again, I definitely am going to give them five stars because um, it is. It's just a very beautiful deck. I love again the color schemes on all of these. I think they put it together beautifully. This is one of my favorite ones, just on the artistry, just on the artistry. I mean, of course the card is cool too, but <laughs> this one's a very beautiful one too. Definitely a lot of cards. I think this one has 50 something, yeah. We're already at 59, so definitely there's, no, there's 60 something cards. This one I believe has 60 something cards. A lot of cards in this deck. And definitely on points and beautiful messages um, here. And again, I love the colors. 
I'm telling you, everyone has such a beautiful color scheme and so bright. Very cool. Some of these I feel like I'm seeing for the first time again. Like I haven't seen them in so long that they're looking like new cards to me. Which is really cool too. A lot of blues, I notice a lot of blues, but it makes sense in the dream state. So again, Shaman's Dream Oracle, beautiful one to have, beautiful one to get in your collection. Definitely one of my favorites. Um, that's my take. I give it five, five stars. If I could give it more, I would, but I think, <laughs> I think five stars is it. 